¿qué tal? Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien, feliz tarde o noches. Muchas gracias, tarde para mí. Sí. Aquí también en Los Ángeles. Sí. So we are going to talk about Dr. Death today. So how was it for you to play the most interesting man in the world? For the second season, like the beer commercial, they say. Yeah. Um well, it was it was fascinating. I mean, it was a, it was an amazing experience uh to to play someone who would commit so fully to destroying everyone's life around him, you know, um, in such a clear and committed way. Um, uh, Paolo, the character that I played, lives in a fantasy world of his own making, and and he strongly believes that everything that he's doing is for the for the improvement of humanity and for the improvement of everyone's life um, around him while he was actually doing the opposite of that he was destroying and undoing people's lives around him and actually ending a lot of people's lives people's lives so so this this disconnection you know this co total disconnect between the reality and his own internal internal reality was very very um it was very interesting it was disturbingly fascinating for me to play the word hope we don't realize how much impact that word can make yeah, actually, um, I think that one of the most uh, difficult or challenging um, aspects of, 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 this, of this experience for me is precisely that hope was what he gave to everyone around him only to betray it. So he knew his patients very well. He knew their names. He knew their relatives. He knew how much hope and trust they put in him and he shattered all of them. She, uh, she shattered the, the trust and she shattered the hope um, and never admitted to, to have done anything wrong. And that, and, and that to me is, uh, as Edgar, is something very difficult to, to deal with. And, um, and, and, uh, and that, and that um and and, and that stays like, like 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 the question lingers in my head still um why especially after having built all this web of lies around him all over the world literally with patients like deceiving patients all over the world why would he make someone as smart as accomplished as Benita to fall in love with him? Why would he take on that challenge that ended up being his demise, that being his own undoing? That is something that still lingers. And I guess that maybe it was pride, maybe it was the obsession to always get away with whatever he wanted to do. Maybe there was the satisfaction of making someone as smart as her to fall in love with him and get away with his twisted fantasy maybe we are maybe we are at the presence of of a, of a of a pathological narcissist and that's the only explanation for him to do something like that yes unfortunately well thank you so much edgar for your time it was thank you then to talk to you i spoke to you back in 2014 in wondercon oh that's wow for um for deliverers from evil mm -hmm. so oh that's great siempre un placer Ah, igualmente, muchas gracias. Gracias, feliz fiestas, feliz Navidad. Gracias para ti.